not gonna lie watched the video yesterday of a bear chasing a dude on a bicycle and now all this thick shit got me nervous bears are not here in north texas <laughs> shit got me looking everywhere i'm hearing footsteps everywhere Somebody came and opened up that damn valve. That's a bit to clean up the damn mess. Alright, let me go get my shovel. Now when you open, this is older, so you can just open it up. But whenever you open a hatch on an oil or water tank, the best way to say it is pretend you've got a lit, mit, a lit match hanging out of your mouth. Like, know which way the wind's blowing. Um, make sure that the wind's not going to blow the shit right in your face. Because these, these fumes kill people all the time. Whether it be too much uh, gas fumes, it could be H2S. If you've got H2S, typically you'll see like a uh, windsock on them. But always assume they have H2S if you don't know. But just assume a whole lot of bad is there when you open it up. This one, it's not even really sealed. This is an old lease, so it's not that big a deal. But still, even with these, you always open up and make sure you're kind of away from the hole because you never know if a wasp nest is on the bottom of this. And I've seen that in old crappy wells. Um, also, when you're looking at the tanks, just straight up and down, that means the valve is open, that means it's going into this one. Over here, valve is closed, so it's not there. You've got an overflow here just in case an emergency. It goes in into this tank, starts filling up. It can kick over to that one. But yeah, this up and down, that means uh, it's open and it's going in there. Open it up. As you can see, it kind of stay back. And we love that sound. This is a smaller well, so it kind of trickles in a little bit, but you get the idea that is high gravity, baby. But uh, let's uh, let's gauge it now. Here's your gauge. It's really simple. You can get them online. Uh, this kind of sits on the bottom. It's a real heavy brass weight. But then you have almost like a tape measure on this and it reels just like a fishing pole. Oh, almost lost that. It's just like a fishing pole. Goes down and you just, on the bottom, you stick it and it just stands. And then you pull it up and you can see where the oil is. If it's a thicker oil, check out Andy Lloyd's uh, YouTube channel. Because he, he top gauges it where he goes here and then has this part barely touch the top. That's another way you can do it. But, uh, all right, let's go. So we got it. You just unhook it like that, unlocks it, and then you just lower it in. And you go until it hits bottom. Right there. Now, luckily for you guys, this oil is almost to the top, so it ain't hard to get it up. There it is. I don't know how well that's going to come out, but you can kind of see the oil just over 9 foot 4 inches. Um, on this particular tank, it is 1, one inch is 1.165, I believe. So one inch is 1.165 barrels. So at nine foot four, you're looking at, what well, I'm not going to do the math because that's just too much math for me, but gives you an idea. Now there's also stuff called color cut. If you've got water, you put it on, and if there's water in there, it'll turn red. That's some cool stuff. I'll make a video on that too, but that's basically it. Now on this, I want to keep the oil in, so I like to kind of squeegee it back into the tank it's not a lot of oil but every little bit counts so 
squeegee it in. And again, if you are messing with H2S or anything else, this does not apply because you'll need possibly gas mask and all kinds of stuff. Or if, if, if you're fancy, you've got gauges, you don't need this either. This is kind of old school pumper method of uh, gauging tanks, but just make a video for you. Buy a roll of rags. I like these a lot better. The wife does not like washing your dirty rags, so just buy the, the throwaways, in my opinion. And then I just reel it up. Like I said, you can find these online for for about a hundred bucks and then this part right here that hooks on this is another 75 bucks but um you're going to need to get one if you have wells because you got to be able to gauge them your pumpers can gauge them too but also when you're looking at wells to buy it's good to be able to gauge their tanks and see what's in them and then negotiate, okay, are you getting that oil or are you not? But uh, that's gauging the tanks. Thanks for watching. Have fun.